So if you are passionate about working in big companies and earning in lakhs, so today we have a very good opportunity and this is from Meta. So they are hiring for design verification engineer and the job location will be Bangalore. So they have given a short description of what this team does and everything. So this infra silicon team at Meta is very responsible for designing and building an in-house hardware where uh, it will help in accelerating the application specific integrated circuit and this will enhance the Meta's computing proficiency with superior capacity and efficiency at low power and cost. So they are telling that this team will uh, focus on creating a domain specific system on chips then also enable Meta's data center to execute a uh, computationally intensive workload. So you can see that uh, they should be organized in several, several areas including architecture, algorithms, design and micro architecture, design verification, implementation and backend design and like emulation or prototyping and system on chip which uh, collaborate extensively with other teams too. So they have mentioned the key points here. Uh, if you need, if you have these skills, you can add it in your resume by highlighting these key points. So you can scroll down and look at the responsibilities here. Here you will develop functional tests based on the verification test plan. Then you will drive the verification to closure based on the defined verification metric on test plan, functional and code coverage. You should debug the root cause and resolve the functional failures in the design partnering with the design or architecture team. You will collaborate with the cross-functional teams like design, model, emulation and silicon validation teams toward ensuring the highest design quality. So let's scroll down and look at the qualification that is required from your end to apply for this role. You should be currently or in the process of obtaining a bachelor's degree in electronics engineering, computer engineering, computer science or a very or in VLSI. Then uh, you can have done uh, any other uh, degree in this technical field or a equivalent practical experience uh, to join in Meta. Then uh, they will e expect some experience from you that is you should have some uh, coverage driven verification or C or C++ uh, verification. Then you should have experience in verifying an IP blog using standard design verification based on techniques. You should have experience in electronic design automation tools and scripting. Then uh, that tools and scriptings are like Python, tool command language, Perl or Shell. That should be used to build tools and flows on verification environment. You should have understanding of at least like a uh, following areas like computer architecture, central processing unit, graphic processing unit, networking interconnect, fabrics or similar design. So you can add these keywords in your resume too to boost your ATS score or uh, showing out yourself with these skills before applying so then here is the preferred qualification so here is everything is about the experience in something you should have experiencing uh, debugging fails to the line of rtl closing out the bug fixes using wordy or equivalent debugs so the one thing i forgot here is preferred qualification is not mandatory but if you know those things you will have some advantages of getting shortlisted for this role. so the experience with uh, revision control systems like mercurial git or svn experience working with CPU or GPU. So you should currently be in a process of obtaining a master's degree in electronics engineering, computer engineering, computer science or similar technical field. So, so then uh, you should have experience in development of system Verilog, UVM based verification environment from scratch. Then experience in verification of any peripheral IPs like UART, SPI, I2C or exposure to protocols like APP and AXI. So these are the things that is mentioned here. You can just click on apply to this job here and apply for this role. So that uh, don't forget the thing that I have mentioned. You need to add some keywords that you actually know from this job update. I think this job update were, was very useful for you. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe and share it to your friends. And I will meet you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.